In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Bybit smartphone app. I use Bybit myself. It's one of the most popular exchanges, so I'll show you how to get set up on the app, how to deposit funds in here, and then go ahead and trade both in the normal spot market and in the futures market on the app as well. Uh, I'll leave the timestamps in the description, plus some links to other Bybit tutorials that I have for the main platform if you wanna go ahead and see how that works as well. Once you do have the app downloaded and have your account set up, just come to the top left because you want to make sure that the security settings are in place. So come down to security down here. You need to turn on Google 2FA. So download the Google Authenticator app and link it up with the Bybit app. That's going to increase the security a lot. Um, so you need to do that. The second thing is if you go to settings right here, you can see withdrawal address. Set these up as well with your other accounts. So if someone does somehow hack into your account, they will only be able to send uh, crypto to other addresses that are your own. Um, so that's just an extra security setting that you might wanna set up. But other than that, you're really good to go. Next, I'll show you how to buy cryptocurrency directly in the app with a card. This is slightly more expensive than depositing crypto. So um, obviously do this if you've got no other option. But if you come to buy crypto here, Bybit also give a deposit bonus. So if you do want to trade futures on Bybit, they actually give you a deposit bonus up to $4,000. I'll leave that link in the description. Um, it's a deposit bonus link. So uh, depending how much you deposit on the app, they'll give you up to $4,000 uh, deposited in your crypto futures trading account. So if you trade futures anyway, that's obviously a, a major bonus. Um, but what you can do here is press express and you can see buy crypto. This is actually with a card. So you obviously need a credit card or a debit card or something. So obviously you just, you know, choose how much you want to deposit. And then you can see, you can actually choose between three cryptos to deposit. I would recommend just doing USDT. So then you have that USDT in there to go ahead and trade against other cryptos. Or if you just want to directly buy either Bitcoin or ETH, you can do that as well. Um, so th this is slightly more expensive. So what you're going to have to do is obviously put an amount in here like this. And then it's going to show you uh, a couple of options. One of them is MoonPay. Uh, there's a couple of other providers as well. Yeah, Bankshare and Simplex. So it will tell you basically um, how much you will receive. Um, so obviously these are third parties. These are not Bybit. So you have to go through to uh, these third parties and basically buy with a card. After a while, they'll deposit that into your account. Um, so you can do that, but the fees are definitely slightly higher um, than depositing directly you know, crypto from another platform. I'll show you then how to actually deposit crypto from another platform if you do that. So if you have another platform that accepts bank deposits, then obviously that is going to be cheaper overall. So if you just come here and click deposit like this, obviously you can uh, deposit all of these supported cryptos on uh, crypto on Bybit, which is obviously quite a lot. So we'll just choose BTC right here and then you get your wallet address. So you obviously have to copy this. Go to your other application that you have, you know, BTC in or, you know, something else like USDT. Um, and then you can just obviously copy this address and that will come in. Now, one of the options right here is you can see all of these networks. This is uh, a good set of networks, which are a lot cheaper than Ethereum. So uh, if you have Binance, you can use the BEP20 network, the Binance Smart Chain network. And that, um, that supports a lot of different assets. Or for a lot of other um, you know, exchanges, you might want to use TRC20, which is the Tron network. That's about a dollar per transaction. So that's going to be way cheaper than using the Ethereum network, which is ERC20 right here. You have different addresses for each network. So make sure you're using the same network on both applications when you deposit crypto in from another app. Um, but TRC20 is going to be the cheapest along with Binance Smart Chain. But obviously it depends what network the other application uh, supports withdrawing from so that you can make a deposit on Bybit. Next, I'll show you how to transfer funds between your internal accounts. So Bybit has a few different options that you can use. So come down to the right hand side and press assets. So you can see you have a spot account, a derivatives account and an earn account. So spot account is the normal trading account. And that's where you take uh, you know, money, cash or USDT or something like that, and then just buy cryptocurrency and you own it. Derivatives are obviously something different. That's trading futures and Bybit. That's quite big on Bybit. And then the earn account is basically where you can lend out some crypto and earn some passive income on that. So when you deposit, uh, obviously that will be, you know, coming into your spot account. And then you can go just press on transfer right here. And then you can see you can transfer it from your spot into, for example, your derivatives account. Um, choose the coin, so I'll choose Bitcoin. 
it shows me how much I have. You can just press all or whatever it is and then transfer uh, that. And then down at the bottom, you'll transfer that. That's an internal transfer. So that's completely free. And obviously, if you want to trade futures, you need funds in your derivatives account. Um, and if you want to put them through to the earn account as well, click on earn. Um, and then you can see here, you can just press transfer and then that will go back to the same screen. So you can transfer from your spot account or anything like that and then start using these different accounts. If you want to withdraw from Bybit to another crypto exchange, then that's in the assets tab as well in the bottom right. Um, what you need to do is just press withdraw and then obviously choose the asset. So, you know, let's say I want to uh, withdraw Ethereum, choose the amount here. Um, so, you know, whatever that is. Um, and then you can see three addresses that are supported. One is ERC20, one is Arbitrum, and one is Binance Smart Chain. ERC20 is the main net, it's going to be expensive. Arbitrum one is slightly cheaper, but you obviously need wherever you're sending this, you need it to support this network as well. And then Binance Smart Chain will be supported uh, on the Binance exchange. Choose the amount and then just click withdraw. So you need to make sure that the networks that you're you know, using is obviously supported on both the wallets or applications or exchanges uh, that you're using from Bybit to that other place. Next, you might want to look at the markets tab and it splits it up between the spot market and the futures market. If you come down to markets here, you can see at the top there's derivatives. That's a, another word for futures. And then you have spot. So if you don't want to trade futures or anything like that, you just want to trade in the normal market, click spot right here. And then you can see USDT quotes. So that means all of these cryptos are quoted in US dollar tether, but they also have USDC markets as well. So that's just a different stable coin. USDC is a different stable coin. You know, USDT and USDC pretty much the same. They have just one dollar and that's what they trade against. Or you can trade cryptocurrencies against Bitcoin. So you can see everything quoted in Bitcoin here. And then you have certain sections that you can click on and, you know, see certain cryptos in, in different sectors. If you go to if you go to derivatives, Slightly different here. You have USDT perpetual and inverse. I'll cover that in the futures trading portion of what they mean. But essentially, whatever you want to trade, you can just find it right here. It's basically just a search page. So now I'll show you how to trade in the spot market once you've got some funds uh, in your spot account. Uh, so like I said, if you you know want to follow along with this, then uh, use that link in the description. You can go through and you know basically sign up. Um, you don't need KYC for now anyway, so you can get into the app and you know try it out and follow along. Um, so what we have here is basically the main spot market trading page um, and trade down at the bottom here. This is the spot market. It doesn't say it, but it, it is. So what we need to do is obviously go and buy something. You can see the quote up here is Bitcoin US dollar tether. So I'm obviously buying Bitcoin with USDT, but you can obviously click and see all of these, um, you know, different markets right here. I'll click on the Bitcoin market and obviously you can look at the chart and you can see the different times. So up here is the price. So that's the current price of Bitcoin quoted in US dollars. And then you have some information on the right hand side, just, uh, you know, kind of daily trading information. And then what we need to do is check the chart. So you can go to more and then you can look at the time. Now, if you're a long term investor or, you know, you know, you might want to look at something like a day chart. If you're a short term trader, you're going to want to go for something, you know, like an hour chart or a 15 minute chart, something like that. I have some more in-depth trading guides um, on my channel. I'll link them in, in the description if you need those. So I'm just going to, you know, put a day chart on here. And then this is the, the, the day chart right here. So you, you can just look at this to kind of get a, a, a idea of the market, but obviously you're going to want to either buy or sell. So I'll come to buy just takes me, you know, back to this, but you can obviously change this around. Now I'm going to use a limit order here. That means I can choose the price that I pay. Um, so I'm going to go and choose a quantity. Now, if you have, um, you know, some US dollar in your account, some USDT, you can just choose how much of, of your account that you want to spend. Or you can come here and just choose the amount of Bitcoin. So 0 0.005 like this. And it'll obviously do the calculation about how many dollars you have to spend. So with a limit order, you can also choose the price that you pay. So on the right hand side, you can see this is the this is the actual price for Bitcoin in the market right now. It's 43,430. So what I can do up here is actually edit this and say, well, I want to pay 43,000 400 uh, as a round number. Now you can see my price is a little bit below the current market price. So I won't trade straight away. I'm actually going to come in and pretty much be on the order book um, somewhere down here below. And what we'll do is basically wait for the market to trade. And you can see it actually did trade now. It's at, uh, you know, 428. So if this comes down a little bit, 
then my order will be filled. But for right now, it won't be because my order is cheaper than the rest of the market. So what you can do actually, if you just wanna go ahead and buy Bitcoin straight away, is choose a market order. You can see you can choose the value of the order, but not the price. What you're gonna be doing is paying this price right here, which is the best offer. So if you wanna get a trade done straight away, choose market, but most people will go for a limit because it enables you to actually just bid a little bit lower and maybe get a better price. Obviously the flip side is that if your bid is too low, it may not trade. So obviously there's positives and negatives here, but once you've um, ch chosen your price and how much you wanna buy, just come down, press buy BTC. Now, if you have enough cash in your account, obviously that will come down here and it says um, show all. So you can see all of your orders and all of your orders, like the, the time that you placed it, the price and everything like that will be showing here. Any orders that are currently working that haven't been completed yet will be shown down here for you. So you can see that. And that's literally it. As soon as the order goes through, then you'll have that Bitcoin in your spot account. Next, I'm gonna show you quickly how to trade in the futures market as well. There are some really big differences. Once again, I have a complete um, you know, beginner's guide on what Bybit futures are and if you would wanna go ahead and trade them. So definitely check that in the description. Um, but I'm gonna to go to the derivatives account right here. And like I said, if you do wanna trade derivatives, Bybit will give you up to a $4,000 deposit bonus. I'll leave that link in the description. So depending on how much you deposit, they'll give you that bonus in your account which is great if you're gonna go ahead and trade anyway. So um, you can see up here in the top left, US dollar tether perpetual and inverse perpetual. So the big difference here is that with futures, you don't actually buy and hold the cryptocurrency. You're essentially just uh, kind of betting on the price either going up or down and you exchange the difference um, you know, between when you open and close the trade and obviously if the price goes up and you go long, um, then you make money and if it goes down, you lose money if you close out that trade at a loss, right? But the difference is when you trade these futures contracts, you basically have to fund your position. So you're not buying and holding cryptocurrency. So the way that you fund your position is by using one of two assets. One of them is US dollar. So that's USDT perps. The other is called inverse perps. That's where you fund your position with a crypto. And in this case, if we're trading Bitcoin, we'll be funding our position with Bitcoin. Most people will trade US dollar tether perps. The reason being is that uh, the US dollar isn't a risk asset. And so it's much more stable than Bitcoin. And so when you're funding positions, it's obviously much better to fund them with dollars because the price will not change that much day to day, right? So um, you have just a, a more kind of reliable funding method there. So that's the main thing. So you, but obviously you can choose these as you want. The next thing um, with futures, is to trade on margin. And you can see you've got this here, isolated 2x. I'm just gonna click on this. Margin is really important. With futures, you can trade on margin, which means that you can basically borrow money um, and, and kind of pay for that with the collateral that you have, which is your USDT. So obviously long leverage, you can see 2x here. So they, they kind of let you go crazy right here. Um, now, if you're a beginner, just you know, I can't recommend using leverage when you're a beginner. So, you know, please take this into account that using leverage is extremely risky, right? Because if you put a thousand dollars on account and you get 5X leverage, um, essentially you're trading with $5,000, right? So if you um, if you lose 10%, if you're trading on 5X leverage um, and, you're, and you lose 10% of 5,000, that's obviously $500. Compared to your initial deposit, which was a thousand dollars, you've just lost 50% of your money. So this will basically leverage up your wins and your losses, right? So if you gain 10% with a fight with 5x leverage on $1,000, you make 500 bucks, you've made 50%, um, you know, on your money, but you can lose 50% as well. So use leverage with care. And if you're a beginner, please just, um, you know, try to obviously not not go crazy with um, with the leverage there. But really the limit order and the order price is exactly the same and the contract quantity. Now the difference with futures as well is that you can open a long or a short. Going long is betting on the price going up and going short is betting on the price going down. So what you do when you go short is basically sell the future at a certain price, wait for the price to drop and then you buy back to close your position with a kind of a net zero. And obviously you can make those, you know, either way um, and then just put the limit and market orders in at the same time. 
Next up, I'm gonna quickly show you the Earn platform as well. So if you have cryptocurrencies in the spot market that you've bought and are holding, you can basically lend them out on the platform and earn some passive income on them. If you hold them in your account anyway, you might wanna look at this. Come down to Assets, come to Earn, and then I would recommend for beginners, flexible savings. The other options are a little bit more risky and require a little bit more knowledge um, about what exactly they are. I have some other videos on that. I'll try and link them in the description. I cover these kind of things in my crypto course as well that really go through all of these in depth and how I use them and if they're suitable for you. So if you wanna check that out, link in description. Um, but very simply, I'm gonna to come to flexible savings. If you have any of these cryptos in your account, come to buy products. Um, you, you might want to use it, right? So you can see these um, these cryptocurrencies here. You have Bitcoin, which is paying 0.88% right now. Um, it av kind of average for kind of Bitcoin lending, 1% for ETH, not the best in terms of that. But if you have any dollars in your account, you can see, you know, rather than them just sitting there earning nothing, you might want to stake them and basically earn, you know, a little bit on them. Um, you do need KYC to actually lend out on the platform though. And this is not locked up. You see it's flexible savings. So essentially, you know, if you have dollars in there for a few days, um, you might as well lend them out and then you can withdraw it instantly to go ahead and, and trade as well. But that's an extra feature on Bybit. If you do want some extra guides on how to trade futures and some trading strategies, I'll link those videos in the description. They are also in my trading course as well if you need some really you know, pro kind of help. Um, also, if you wanna get that $4,000 deposit bonus on Bybit, that link is in the description as well. I'm James with Money CG. cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.